My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Against the Storm! In the end of the last episode, we had set up a base with only one opened glade. That opened glade just so happened to be the archaeological discovery. And meanwhile, we've set up a greenhouse in order to provide ourselves with herbs and mushrooms. We use those mushrooms in order to make flour in the rain mill at the best translation rate of three star production for that flour. And then we use that flour with the previous mentioned herbs in order to make pies and biscuits, making everyone in the entire civilization ecstatic. Got a couple of missions over on the other side that we're going to be looking at as well, but honestly, I'm looking to try and not expand at all. We're going to be working on this archaeological discovery. I may not even see a single dangerous glade event this entire run. If I have my druthers. Discovery is kicking along. We've got some amber soon to roll in from the trade markets. Eh, I guess a reasonable amount of bricks and some blanks. Also, everything's going well. Do I need to start crafting more fabric? No, not in particular. We don't really use that much right now. How's my flour going? Kind of starting to run low. Let's get two of you in there. Start making some flour from all of our mushes. Looks like we've also got a stonecutter's camp that is now inactive. I'll just destroy that. Ooh, 15 fabric as well as one ancient tablet from the small demand in cash here. Speaking of ancient tablets now being available, we are going to get one ancient tablet when we complete this event for the archaeological discovery. Even though I didn't use the archaeologist's office in order to find this, I will now want one online quite badly. And that is because the first level either gives you the ability to find the nearest or... For every two ancient tablets you have, Glade working time is increased by 10%, or Gary, uh, Gary, carry 10 additional items for every two ancient tablets in the Settlement's Warehouse. So we're just gonna have everyone do that. Far more efficient. And the trade has finally come in. Value of good soul is complete. We get six more simple tools, one more hearth, uh, one more reputation, as well as two more villages. A high level of corruption has been identified, but that is okay. We are ready to fight back. Let's get a single harpy in there. Slightly ready for it. Also looks like we need to house two more lizards at this point. Ready to do so. You know, maybe it's time to re-roll here. If I'm not gonna expand again, I don't need any of these. Yep. Reroll. So the cooperage for the higher training gear production isn't awful. I do kind of want some copper bar production online, given the amount of copper ore that I have access to. I don't have access to clay on this map, so I can't actually make pottery, so this would be the ability to make barrels in order to hold pickled goods. As well as, obviously, training gear. We'll take that cooperage. Provisioner for packs of provisions. Given that I am making so many herbs, I don't think I need to make packs of provisions at the best translation rate. Smithy for making simple tools isn't bad, but again, that's going to require some sort of production for copper bar online first. Cellar for wine production? Really what I'm looking for here is more of a service building. Archaeological excavation complete, or rather the first stage of it is complete. Now you need 40 herbs, as well as 30 oil, water skin, cosmetic, or coal. I can't make cosmetic. I can't make coal. Okay, that's going to be a difficult one for us to complete for a wee bit here, unfortunately. 
I do wish I had some coal production in mine. Very much agree with that. I think I should try and continue increasing the relationship with the Silly Settlement, but certainly it's one part, two travel, and six amber. Let's see in 11 seconds after we increase our relationship there how that goes instead. So that should be our 11 seconds, and it's still one for two for six, unfortunately. That said, it would be an absolute glut of money for us to get this early on. I think I'll, uh, I think I'll work towards it. Bliss Greyboon has arrived. So there's cosmetics. Also, the kiln is on offer here. Also, the smokehouse for the best jerk. I don't really care about the smokehouse for the best jerky production, but the kiln for the best coal production as well as some brick production on the map. Not bad. I will give you as much as you require from me in order to purchase that. And then I'm going to use that kiln instead of just straight up purchasing the cosmetics here, which indeed I also could have done. Um, I'm going to use... Well, but then I have to build the kiln in order to move up... It's what would 30 cosmetics cost me in this instance, anyway? 30. Seven and a half? Are you kidding me? I can give you that in malleable oil right now. Let's do it. And then follow through with our excavation. Also get this kiln created. I'm going to tell you preemptively stop making bricks because the kiln's coming online already. And ideally, I want some excess lizards in the kiln as they enjoy being there. Screw work station, this light pose. Production's complete in the area for a bit. Honestly, you should probably be making up to a different limit. Also, start using coal eventually, but not yet. Let's get the plus carry capacity as our early pickup. It kind of has nothing nearby. Fair enough. Makes sense. Uh, man, I am actually starting out, uh, starting to run out of trees to cut down. This is starting to become a, an actual problem. Okay, now I've finally got enough packs of provisions to make a very, very lucrative trade here with the Silly Settlement. So we'll do that. Get ourselves the 30 amber our way. So we're currently at full utilization of workers. Yeah, I mean, we're about to move slightly below that as I need to take a bunch of your woodcutters out of wood cutting. Yeah, slightly saddened that I'm gonna have to burn a stack of wood in order to keep us below any limit here if I really want to. The fuel efficiency being significantly lower would be so much uh so much lost wood i think that it's actually better for me to stock one more woodcutter and then sacrifice a stack of wood in order to stay below the limit now considering the flooded rose also hasn't kicked in yet but the season has changed over let's see if there's any trades i want to make with other settlements early on i mean again Increase the relationship with the Zilly Settlement, but at this point, I only really want to sell for money, I think. 
even with only one relationship in a bunch of different areas. If, like, if anyone asks for biscuits or jerky or pie, apparently, where's my, where's my pie production? <gasps> You're kidding me. I can't make much pie. All of my herbs is gone? Oh, right, yes, of course, I forgot about that. I'm making a bunch of uh, makeshift posts. Yeah, that'll have done it. Okay, choose a new order. Serving the people. Fulfill the need to eat pickled goods 60 times. Villagers need to eat skewers 60 times and jerky 60 times. Skewers 60 times is the hardest here. Gives us 24 simple tools for doing it though. Plus global food production in speed. Oh, global food production really, really pulls it across the edge there. Have to take that now. Still holding out for the reroll. I'm not going to accept anything less than the best. Let's also uh, get that blight post stocked with a couple more blight fighters, noting that, oops, should have been stocked with more the entire time, but thankfully it's not going to be enough to cause us too much, too dramatic an issue right now. Hey, everything's well. Now we see some more bricks and some more mushrooms. That's also enough harpies to get us over the limit for the harpy quest. Do like that. Let's look at our cornerstone also. Work safety guide. Every five villages with a need to uh, be educated increases global production speed by a ridiculous amount. I mean, I like it. Family gratitude though. Gain 40 water skins for every full reputation point earned through high resolve. That's just going to happen while I keep feeding everyone their favorite foodstuffs. So I think I should really capitalize upon that. Uh, fill up these beautiful woodcutters camps again. Also, now I should have a back... I don't have a backlog of coal yet, really? I guess I didn't put enough of you in the kiln. Get in the kiln. We've got pigment will be accepted here. Okay, pigment or pigment and simple tools in order to get the final stage of this archeological reconstruction. We'll get an additional cornerstone choice for all of our uh, cornerstones from now on, as well as three reputation points. And the full reconstruction of the skeleton will allow us to learn from its history. The queen will handsomely reward you for this knowledge. I cannot wait. Let's have a look at uh, packs of building materials as well. So these can, yes, be made in the rain mill. They can be made out of copper ore. That's, uh, it's got a peel in it. Yes, it does. Okay. Looks like we are bottoming out on spark dew at the moment as well, unfortunately. A little bit of a stockpile in a couple of these areas to start working with at least. Or continue working with. Everyone having the ability to carry such a ridiculous capacity does mean that like when people carry any spark to you to the greenhouse, they carry like 40 at a time or 20 at a time. Meaning it's much easier to exhaust my reserves and end up with a huge amount more than I expected in a specific building. Right. There we are. <sighs> Heck, am I even going to build a second half at all? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, one half society here. This trade route's still not done. Back to building materials. I mean, we're making them for other things at the moment. Meat. Uh, only to increase the relationship at that point again. Hmm. 
Now, packs of crops I can also make here. They also need some fabric production online now. Throw a couple of you in the granary. High level of corruption online. Here is our sea serpent. Counts as nine decorations of its own type and is a passive effect. It gives us <laughs> 10 sea marrow for every 10 copper ore produced. That's gonna be a lot. It's gonna regret doing that for us pretty quickly, I feel. Ooh, another cornerstone. Plus two to stone production. Grain production increases. I mean, plus two is to stone production, but they, we have no stone on the entire map, and we're not going to get any more stone before the end of the game, I don't think, so... Probably not that, I guess. Woodcutting's a lot easier. <laughs> Um, negative 40 hostility for every hub upgraded to the level of neighborhood or higher. So that's just negative 40 hostility for us right now. Hostility is mainly funded for us right now out of having a huge amount of villages as well as a huge amount of woodcutters and decent amount of years into the game. I'm going to take safe haven. Yeah, I'm going to take safe haven, and I think I am going to try and make a second half. Because the second half still does give me, I mean, the additional negative 40 uh, via the hostility size, but also another 30, another negative 30 via the half itself existing, and gives me the ability to upgrade the other area to a neighborhood level as well in order to get another plus two to global resolve and another plus 10% to global production speeds. Now we are about to fulfill... Ooh, we have so much sea marrow now as well. Wow, we should just be making this out of sea marrow. Honestly. Um, hmm. It's flour, it's herbs. No, we're all up on both of those. That was doing fine there as well. How can I make some money? Huge pie sales here to Eloisium. Thank you very much. That is $20 worth of pie sales to you. I do want to increase my trade offer routes here. And in fact, after doing so, we will sell off another five parts for another 30. Oh my God. And to Eloisium as well, I will sell as much uh, bone marrow as you want. Although it looks like I will actually require making some more provisions for myself here. I'm going to make them out of the insects. Thinking I can much more easily get away with that. Now, all of this was in service of trying to get more amber so that I can re-roll to get away from this choice. Bathhouse. Yep. Um, Apothecary... So Apothecary now gives me the ability to put the cosmetics online. For the sake of the bathhouse. Nothing wrong with that. Temple gives me a second service building. Religion and education fulfilled there. Sounds good to me. Tavern Guildhouse. Guildhouse is always pretty powerful. Clan Hall is also plus 100% yields from all camps. I'm like 100% certain that the, the greenhouse is not going to count for that. Like 100% certain. Hmm. So, noting that,
I think what I'm really looking at here is getting the possible guild house online, maybe tavern for brawling. The only problem is brawling is going to require stone from us, which we don't have. Guild house at the very least still gives us the plus one to global resolve for all of the 60 ambers worth sales, which we've done, which we will have done a couple. I'll take the guild house, sure. Uh, yeah, fabric is the huge limiter right now. That's okay. I believe I have my granary fully stocked and we are trying to make as much fabric as possible. As for our blight post, yeah, we just need to make sure that those people are stocked there to actually work that as quickly as possible as well. Otherwise, we could get into trouble. You know, let's get people carting stuff over to our first created building, right? We can get the apothecary up in order to have cosmetics production ready and the bathhouse down here. Fifteen build materials. I guess we're going okay. All right. For the apothecary, I want oil or eggs, neither of which I'm going to have access to, as well as herbs. Well, I guess I hope I get oil production online later. But the problem is oil is often made from things I wouldn't be able to use yet, so... Big shrugs. We'll see. Looks like we've run out of... Ooh. Oh, your limit has been set wrong for the, the packs of building materials. That was a problem there. That's okay. They'll start making a couple more and we'll be fine. I mean, ultimately, we want them to make about up to 20 at any one point in time. There's the sea marrow transaction finally going through. Um, yeah, I guess I have a couple of excess people that can go into the bathhouse there. Make sure that we have the plus 25% to production speed in all of our buildings. The thing is, the granary does need the ability to make more packs of crops right now, but the resources that it wants for those crops are very heavily contested. I mean, really, it's mushrooms that they need to have access to. I'm just going to leave one of you in the area. Building the Citadel is now ready, so that's plus 10% to villager speed. 30 uh, copper bars. 30 copper bars. 30 copper bars. 30 copper bars. 30 copper bars. We can use those for making training gear, maybe? In the cooperage? Oh no, I'm out of bricks. Oh no. Yeah, it's gonna fully limit our ability to do much else here. I really don't wanna have to expand into another area yet. Like, not even yet, at all. If I can avoid it, at all. So, Renwald Redmain, welcome. Um, I need from you a total of 60 skewers and... You know, if you have 21 pickled goods as well, I'm not gonna throw my hands up about it. You may have all of my sea marrow as I trip over the stuff. My man offering a huge amount of bricks as well. I'm taking all 50 of your bricks. They're, they're mine now. And you may have as much excess coal as you require in order to make this deal both sweet, salty, tasty, and tangy to your palate. 
Well, now that I got all these bricks, you see, bunch of our problems gone flying away. Hey, Apoca 3, it's time. Well, I mean, no, I already got the Apoca 3 up. Hang on. It's. Bakery Granary Greenhouse, got that online. Ah, right, it's the Cooperage. Otherwise, that I wouldn't have had. Give ourselves the ability to start making barrels at a reasonable rate, as well as training gear at basically the same rate. Also, now that we have the bathhouse online, it is time to get the neighborhood to its next level, its next form. Time for it to ascend. Uh, which we'll do in the absolute simplest fashion possible of a bit of piping around the end of the bathhouse. Then I also need four more from there. So something like another park could do fine. And then I will need four more night ferns. So one, two, three, four does good there. And then I need some harmony also. So enough lizard posts to make my point clear. And a fire shrine in betwixt. What a perfectly civilized town we've created here. Now that I can take the rest of my woodcutters off the job. Oh, and sacrifice only one stack in order to keep our fuel efficiency up. I can start building our second hearth area. So, we'll have a bunch of excess workers with nothing really else to do right now, so why not contribute towards this? Um, let's also make sure that the guild house is planned for by the start. We will need two of you in the crude workstation. Oh, I haven't got anyone in the black post just yet. Let's get three of you in the black post and ready. Two more in the granary, the apothecary. I mean, can you even make anything right now? Not really. You make incense. You know, you make incense at a reasonable rate as well. Why don't you make some? Why don't you actually do that? Make up to a total of 50 incense at any one point. Let the... Let there be something that we can give to the lizards eventually. Ooh, wait, the the piercing winds immediately got kicked back in, unfortunately. I have to sacrifice two stacks of wood consistently in order to remove that right now. Not looking good, but we do get aiding the flock, so we have three more harpies, plus three to the harpy resolve at all times. And of course, another blueprint. Which is scribe? So scribe would be the ability to educate use wood and pigment in order to do so let's get it um guild house that's not education there i mean what if instead of the guild house i went and made the temple first in order to get education building online and then with the educational building online i'm also going to want to have a Secondary warehouse in the area, as well as a... Da, 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 where are you? Are you going to recognize it when I see it? There's the scribe. There we go. Go. Go make those. Go, go, go. Go do that. Having a look at our corruption. Oh, God. I don't think we can prevent... A couple of deaths here, the absolute least. Ooh, 125. Ooh, okay, we're fighting back reasonably. 117, 110. 
Oh my god. 99. We're just under the limit right now. Ridiculous. We're going to need a second light post up. Well, that's going to be a absolute nightmare come next season. Leftover crops. Gain two bags of provisions for every 10 herbs produced. Well, we never need to make any prop. Mm. Bakery production is producing quicker. Oh no, that's really good for us. So is a useful mill upgrade. Gain two, three oil for every 10 flour produced. I'm going to take the bakery production being faster there. And yeah, I think I want these planks. Fire's going out? What do you mean the fire's going out? We've got so much coal. What do you... What do you mean the fire's going out? Burn the coal! There's so much of it! <laughs> okay. Good work with the copper and the packs of building materials there. As for our mushrooms, I think I may have used all of our mushrooms making some packs of crops there. Yeah, looks like maybe that's where some of them got et. Let's also favor the harpies at the moment to get the harpy resolve done. Ooh, got to remember as well to get the second small hearth charged with another person. Let's also get some harpies in there to start creating our defense against the next incursion. Granary is now completely empty of ability to do anything. Makes sense. Empty it out entirely. Hello, educational facility. Stock that up with a bunch of harpies. That makes it capable that uh, sacrifice fuel will burn for 25% longer. Not really our priority as much as just getting a building online that can take education as well as religion, just in case. The spirit bites, and immediately it does. The lizards are starting to get a little bit of education. The harpies are not, but soon they will get... Sorry, the lizards are getting religion. The harpies will get their education in there soon. Obviously, as soon as the scribe decides to arrive. How do I use all of my fabric? I could have sworn I had a ridiculous amount of fabric. Oh, the woodcutters camps. Forgot about them. They're all supposed to be stocked at all points. Oops. Especially around this area where it's so dense and so easy to collect so much so quickly. We've just plum run out of wood for planks at this point also. Makes sense. The bakery believes that it is... Oh, just consistently over the limit of stuff it needs to make here. I'm going to take one of you out of the bakery. I'm going to take one of you out of the other bakery. So slowing down their production via that. Serving the people. We will now get plus 20% to all food production speed in particular. Another reputation point, 50 oil, and 24 simple tools. Carpenter, cellar. So, I mean, there's the carpenter if we want to have the plank production online. The cellar is here, though. Mushrooms and water skins. We could make some wine. Luxury for the beavers would give me the ability to actually make them happy. Yeah, let's get the cellar. Um, yeah, we'll, ha we'll have enough wood production online again soon that it's not going to be a problem. Wait, hang on. Harpy's Resolve dipped super low there? What happened? I, their Resolve dipped below the limit that I needed it to be. 
Ah, oh, right, of course. We got all the hostility from putting people back on woodcutting. Oops. Bit of a nightmare, unfortunately. Uh, oh my god. Don't really have the ability to house all of these additional harpies as well. Ugh. Hey, how about these trade routes? Anything here to bail us out? No? Okay. We can get the fabric out of this. It's about time. Maybe I should have done that earlier, in fact. Yeah, nothing to buy, that makes sense. Okay, the high-level corruption is still there, and I need to make sure that I respond to it by mil uh, building, rather, the next blight post immediately. Otherwise, we are going to be losing three people in this storm. So, welcome to the scribe. Your job. I mean, as soon as I have a decent amount of... Uh, Fuel again, your job will begin. But it will be to make as many scrolls as you can. Because that will really be what gets our harpies reserve to uh, resolve rather to spike. Ah, mushrooms are limiting us because we're over the amount of flour we need to make at the moment. Okay, let's leave just one of you in there. And then I think it's about time to get another one of you to start creating some more pickled goods. Again, up to a total of 50 at any one time is fine. I think also I might be able to make some cosmetics right now. Yeah, just due to the 50 oil I got from a different mission. Hello to the kiln. Still making more coal than is required at the moment. I mean, again, I think I can probably just run you with one worker. Got his camp. It's now comfortable to move over to the other side. Uh, honestly, I kind of wish this was further down there at the moment, but it's a difficult to position. Maybe this one goes back into the original area. Kiln's still doing good. Wood production isn't incredible, unfortunately. Doesn't look like that'll change for a beat, also. Now, harpy houses, I mean, I can get... I need three more of them right now. One, two, three. As well as another beaver house. Upwards. Also, if I move some beavers over and then create a little bit of a backyard. I should now have plus two global resolve. I say now. Soon. Yeah, unfortunately, one and a half minutes. I'm not going to have enough time to get the, the harpies, their resolve complete here before the storm rolls in. Speaking of the storm rolling in, it's time to load up our blight posts with... Diligent, diligent workers. I honestly really wish that I could keep all of my woodcutters going. That would be very handy right now. 
Unfortunately. Takes us to 91. One stack of coal will lower this. Not enough to lower a level. Am I okay with fuel, uh, fuel efficiency being 200% lower right now? Getting below that 300, ho uh, that three hostility would be too difficult, I think, to actually accomplish. I think we just have to let this happen. Now, our rain mill still struggling out here. Ah, I should have looked at my trade routes earlier. Whoops. Although I have a huge amount of... I do not have a huge amount of provisions. Wow. I would have some good sales, though. Dang. I thought I got the one that gives me huge amounts of provisions consistently. Oh, no. I got the, the bakery production is faster, which is why the bakers are constantly bored. Unfortunate. I think maybe I need another greenhouse also. Although, uh, yeah, I don't really have the spark to you to justify that. Yeah, I don't. Okay. We just keep rolling. Hey! Got ourselves another new building there. Forum! I mean... It's the ability to complete the forum that is really online there. I'm not ecstatic about it, but it's a mission I may complete now. Yay. Uh, subscribe. Okay. Yeah, looks like we've got education kind of unlock. Just have one of you there from now on. Also, it looks like, yeah, I'm making absolute work of these light rots. Taking them out toot sweet and post and haste. But now that we've rolled over into Dalahan Warlander's arrival. Biscuits. The packs of provisions. Yeah. Uh... Yeah. Two of you in there, make those. Stock up all of the woodcutters camps again because I still do require other materials in my life. Second one in the mill at the moment seems good to me. Also, silent looting every open cache lowers hostility by 15 points. Ooh, mushroom production increases by plus one for every 25 times it's produced. This would have been ridiculous earlier on. Right now it's not worth a dang to us. I'm taking it anyway. In recognition of what could have been. It looks like Harpy's resolve is also pretty high at all times right now. Good to see that. Okay. Only one minute until that resolves. Very finally. Dalahan, I really do have money. But do I really want anything you're selling? I mean, oh, I guess I could take all your packs of provisions. I could take all of the planks and bricks, honestly, and all of the fabric, try and stop me from having to do that myself. I'm actually immediately all on board with all of those examples. I also really like taking all of that reed from you. Here, you can have, um, <laughs> you can have all of the money in the world. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> there you go. Good trade, bud. Now with all of these endgame resources. I mean, this this is very legitimate. This is act like I always feel like I need to have my my bricks and my planks and my fabric and all of those kinds of things online as as early as I possibly can. Otherwise I could never possibly get to a point like this in the game. But here I am at a point like this in the game. 
uh, the, the harpies are simply off the charts in terms of their happiness. We are about to house some more harpies and beavers and lizards in the same area. Everyone's going to be pretty happy about that too. If I make a garden and a park, we get another neighborhood. So that's another negative 40 hostility as well. We are very quickly again getting to the point that woodcutting is extremely difficult because everything is opening a glade. Harpy resolve is complete. And in fact, look, we're just going to roll over for the, re uh, for the rest of this reputation. Absolutely. No problem. Don't even need to put down the forum. Ooh! Well, one glade game! The one glade game! We only needed one glade and... It provided for us, probably over the course of that, hundreds of sea marrow? <laughs> An actual archaeological build. A harpy settlement with 25 harpies. We played it safe. We won a game without discovering a dangerous or forbidden glade on pioneer difficulty or higher. Uh, we also won a game on prestige 5 or higher, and won a game with the reconstructed sea serpent skeleton in the Scarlet Orchard. Returning to our world map, we'll see the the progress of this has been quite good. Oh. <laughs> Both of the question marks that we have uncovered here have been treasure chests. Ancient valuables or resources lost to another Viceroy, select the chest to collect its contents. It must be within your embarkation range. So I get 10 machinery and another 15 machinery. Heading into the smoldering city to check out our deeds as well. We now have moss broccoli seeds as a cornerstone that we can earn. Uh, for vegetables can now be produced in the greenhouse. There's also the other missions each giving us 50 experience points and of course the choice for how we spend the resources we've got in this level resources sacrifice burn longer farms have larger tiles newcomers arriving in your settlement will bring more resources with them the bumps from those resources can be very important all traders have plus one blueprint on sale permanent plus five to capacity Plus one to embarkation points before starting a new run is pretty good as well. Oh, no, here we go. The embarkation bonus of choosing to take a forager's camp with you onto the mission is going to be what we're going for here. Ultimately, low for the moment. My name has been Rapsony. The name of the game has been Against the Storm. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. That has been a very successful settlement there. The settlement named Sean. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There is a series playlist up in the top left. YouTube recommendation down below. And streaming past in the names of the people so generally supporting the Republic on Patreon.com slash Rhapsody Plays. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully see you next time.